Kingdom Hearts 3 is getting closer and closer to release, and with that we have much to be excited about. As the game gets closer to release, they're inevitably going to be showing more trailers, so when can we expect more? I know it might sound a little bit selfish to be anticipating more trailers after we just got three, but the game is getting close to release, so you never know. I don't think it's too selfish since it has been quite a bit of time since E3, plus like I said, we're getting closer to release, they should be promoting the game as much as they can. Because of this, I definitely think that we're going to be seeing a new trailer soon. But how soon is soon? Well, we'll just have to figure that out. Well, personally, I believe that we're going to be at least seeing four brand new trailers. They might not all show brand new worlds since we really don't have that many worlds left to show, but I do think at least we're going to be getting four brand new trailers, and probably two of them will be showing brand new worlds. It has been confirmed that they are showing all of the worlds for Kingdom Hearts 3, before release, at least the Disney specific worlds. So it's not too far fetched to expect at least four new trailers since there's probably about two brand new worlds and probably the Winnie the Pooh world, so I think we can expect some more trailers. As we get closer and closer to launch, I don't think that we should be really expecting events to see new trailers. I think that they'll just pop up at one random moment, but there are a couple of events throughout the year that we might be seeing a new trailer at. So the closest event coming up that I think we're definitely going to be seeing a trailer at is this year at Tokyo Game Show. In the past, Kingdom Hearts has released trailers at Tokyo Game Show, like the HD 2.8 trailer, so it, Tokyo Game Show is September 20th, and I definitely think we're going to be seeing a new trailer then, so it's not that far away. While there's nothing confirmed and anything can happen, if you're highly anticipating the next trailer, this is definitely something to be excited for. I know that a lot of people are expecting to see trailers in August for Smash Brothers and Nintendo and even Kingdom Hearts 3 people expect to see something in August, which could definitely have happened if D23 was going on this year, but unfortunately D23 is not this year, it is every other year, so last year we had D23, this year we did not. That's how it works, so it's unfortunate, but we're probably not going to be seeing a trailer in August. But I do have an idea, and we'll get to that later. However, Nomura has said that he plans to show Big Hero 6 as the next world in the trailer, so something they could do that could really surprise the fans is show off Big Hero 6 on the three year anniversary of it being shown off back in 2015, about three years ago. If you're new to the community and you don't know, about three years ago we saw a screenshot only confirming Big Hero 6 as a world for Kingdom Hearts 3, and since then we've never seen anything of it. It was August 16, 2015, and it'll be about the three year anniversary in a couple of weeks. So if they did show a trailer on the third year anniversary, not only would it acknowledge that Kingdom Hearts fans have been waiting so long for this game, but it would also keep the hype rolling for people at E3. I'm sure there are a lot of people that saw Kingdom Hearts 3 during the E3 presentation and thought it was cool, but might have forgotten about it, and we don't want to lose their interest. I know it's been not that long since E3, but if you keep the hype rolling, then people who are looking into it, who are interested, are going to be more likely to buy it if they see more and more constant promotion, especially if they show off one of the coolest worlds, which would definitely be Big Hero 6. So showing it off on the third year anniversary of the world being announced would be a great way to acknowledge the fans and keep the hype rolling for people who are new to the series. However, this is just a prediction. It's not super likely that this is going to happen, just an idea, but do keep your eyes peeled just in case they do reveal something. Also makes sense why Nomura has said that Big Hero 6 is next, because it would give us something to expect, but without really confirming anything. So pretty much the only other event that they could show a new trailer that's pretty much a locked in for we're seeing a new trailer is Jump Festa, which is in December. So I definitely think we're going to be seeing a trailer before Jump Festa. Probably not before Tokyo Game Show, but definitely before Jump Festa. So don't really expect to only see trailers at the events. I think that periodically they'll show off new trailers with little to no notice just to promote the game and get it out there and to keep it in people's minds. Plus, the game is probably going to be completed soon. I would say the game is going to go gold around the end of November, maybe early December, but like first week of December. 
definitely around the end of November, like first couple days of December, the game is going to go gold. So the closer we get, the more trailers we're going to get. So probably around four trailers we're going to get, but who knows? We might get a bunch of small trailers with new gameplay, just not revealing anything big. I can definitely see like TV commercials and TV spots and like YouTube ads of just new gameplay, but not really revealing anything too important. Before the game releases, I think we're going to be at least seeing a Big Hero 6 trailer and then two more world trailers that we haven't seen yet. Two more Disney worlds, I think, are left to be confirmed. So that's three brand new trailers that we have left to see and about six months until the game comes out. So we're probably going to be seeing more frequent trailers. Not only do I think we'll be seeing world trailers, but probably after all the worlds have been revealed, I think we're going to be seeing story trailers and maybe even the intro as a trailer. But I definitely think we're going to be seeing a story trailer, which is just story. So overall, in total, we have a slight possibility for a trailer in August, a very, very high possibility for a trailer at Tokyo Game Show this year, another extremely high possibility for a trailer at Jump Festa, and a very high probability for trailers in between. It's up in the air how many more trailers we're going to get, but like I said, probably at least three, maybe even four. So who knows, we might even get way more than that, but right now we're just going to have to wait and see. I know that the community can do it. We went a whole year without a trailer once, so I'm sure that we can do it. The game is pretty close to the release, and I'll be making videos in anticipation up until then and even after. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll definitely be making more Kingdom Hearts videos, Smash Brothers, and Pokemon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.